Hello friends, welcome to Vidic Academy. And now, in this section, we are going to discuss an example under the concept pair of straight lines. So, this is our given example, which is, we need to show that the equation represents a pair of perpendicular lines and we need to find their equations. So, as it is the given equation, let us consider it as equation 1. And here in equation 1, you can observe that x square minus y square, that is in the form of a square minus b square. So by using the formula, we get x plus y into x minus y minus x plus 3y minus 2 is equal to 0. So from this equation, we can assume that equation 1 can be written as x plus y plus some constant c1 into x minus y plus some constant c2. So these are two lines which are represented by equation 1 and then we need to find these equations. So let us multiply both the terms. So we get x square minus xy plus c2 into x. So plus of we get here xy minus y square then we get plus c2y and then by multiplying c1 with the group, we get c1x minus c1y plus of c1 into c2. So that is equal to, we can write this equation as x square minus y square plus of c2 plus c1 into the common term x plus of, here we get c2 minus c1 into y plus of the constant term c1 into c2. And now let us compare the like terms of both the equations. So we get c2 plus c1 that can be written as c1 plus c2 is equal to the coefficient of x which is minus 1. So let us name this as equation 2. And then the coefficient of y which is c2 minus c1 is equal to 3. So let us name this as equation 3. And then the constant term which is c1 c2 is equal to minus 2. And now let us name this as equation 4. So let us try to find the value of C2 using both these equations. So by adding equation 2 that is C2 plus C1 is equal to minus 1. And then equation 3 which is C2 minus C1 is equal to 3. So in case of addition we need to cancel the terms containing opposite signs. And here we get 2C2 is equal to minus 1 plus 3 which is minus 2. So that implies we get the value of C2 as 1. And then substituting this value in equation 2 we get C1 plus 1 which is equal to minus 1. So that implies we get here C1 is equal to minus 1 minus 1 which is nothing but C1 is equal to minus 2. So these are the values of C1 and C2. So we get the equation 1 which is x square minus y square minus x plus 3y minus 2 will be equal to the lines which are x plus y plus c1 that is nothing but minus 2 into x minus y plus the value of c2 which is 1. So therefore equation 1 represents a pair of straight lines which are x plus y minus 2 is equal to 0 and the next line is x minus y plus 1 is equal to 0. And then we need to prove whether these lines are perpendicular. So for that the condition is a plus b that is the coefficient of x square plus coefficient of y square must be equal to 0. So from equation 1 a that is coefficient of x square which is 1 plus of the coefficient of y square which is minus 1. We get here 1 minus 1 which is 0. So therefore it satisfies the condition a plus b is equal to 0. So therefore we can see that the lines are perpendicular lines. And similarly if we need to prove whether the lines are concurrent what we need to do is first we need to find the point of intersection of the lines represented by equation 1 using the formula which we already discussed and then we need to substitute that point of intersection in equation 2. So this is in case of concurrent lines. Hope you understood the concept. For more videos visit our website VDG Academy. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.